Hiya. Um, this clip coming up is basically me going out for a ride over the Peak District. Um, the two minute and a two minute intro, just uh, me having a ride on the bike with different camera angles. Um, but if you just want to skip forward straight to my opinion on the Garmin Zumo XT, it's at uh, two minutes ten. So you can ignore all the uh, big first two minutes if you don't want to look at the ride. Um, and my opinion's there. It's my opinion. Um, it's how I feel about the uh, Garmin Zoom XT. I'm not for one minute going to do a full breakdown review like some of the other professional one million subscriber websites. Um, you're probably better off going to them or you've done your own research anyway. Um, I'm just going to give my opinion uh, from a normal bloke uh, goes out and buys a, a sat nav and just wants it to, to use the basic functions that it's going to use it for. Uh, is it easy to use? Is it quick? Does it have a laggy display and is very slow? Um, is it bright? Is it uh, re re the visibility? Is it really good? It, um, these are the basic kind of functions that I'm looking for anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I love it. It's my first Garmin. I'm a Tom Tom man, and um, this Garmin is just. I got. I sold the latest Tom Tom Rider Five Fifty to buy this Garmo Zumo XT, and uh, yeah, I got. Uh, um, I just sing praises for it. Fantastic. Anyway, I've spoke for nearly two minutes already. Uh, the next two minutes is going to be me on a bike, uh, and the rest of the vid is just going to be me giving my opinion on the Tom Tom. All right, cheers. Again, I meant to say Garmin. When you've been using TomTom Tom for the past, God knows, 15, 20 years, I don't know how long they've been out, it's hard to get it out of my head. So in this video, I will refer to the Garmin as a TomTom Tom more than once. Sorry. Zumo XT before this. Oh. Hi, right, I'm out in uh, the Peak District. I'm going to do a quick review on the uh, Zumo Garmin XT. Um, first Garmin for me, always had TomTom, -tom, um, and I'm blown away, really am. Um, it's super fast, the screen sensitive, feedback and response is better than the TomTom uh, -tom Rider 550, which is the top of the range equivalent. Um, I'd get this one any day. Um, 
it links to your headset it links to your mobile phone you can download uh, topographical information so you can see the actual landscape if you're doing a bit of uh, bit of a detour and you want to see if it's a bit rough uh, if you're going a bit of off-road trekking uh, so you can actually check it out from a almost like imagery uh, but uh, you'll need to probably download that via wi-fi um, at home before you go out um, i can't be sure on that but uh, it's got awesome functions. Um, you can put the SD card, the usual stuff, a boatload of apps you can install. Um, I'm not gonna go through an unboxing. You can go on some uh, pro site that's getting a million hits for that. Um, you know, the ones that uh, take half a dozen light years to get everything out of the box and go through it before they actually start talking about the TomTom -tom or the phone. Um, this is just a quick, uh, my opinion on the uh, Garmin Zumo XT. First off, it looks bloody fantastic on top of the uh, KTM dash. Um, you know, uh, it looks like a spaceship. Um, it's, I can't get over how super sensitive it is. You can just touch it with your touch finger enabled gloves and the screen changes like that um, on the fly. Um, it, while you're listening to music, it'll cut in and say there's a speed camera. Well, it'll blip. So you know there's a speed camera coming up. All the usual stuff. Um, Shortcuts, I want to find a post office, I want to find a hospital, I want to find a campsite, I want to find a restaurant, I want to find a petrol station, all the usual stuff's on it. You know, it's no different than a, a Tom Tom or a, a, or a mobile phone, but in essence, uh, it'll get you from A to B, just like the rest. But I love the screen size, and I love the clarity, and I love the sensitivity of the screen. Um, only one thing I've got a moan at so far, and it's not, it, or it's not all the time, it's now and again, is the powering dock. The contacts that connect the power to the back of the TomTom -tom are spring-loaded pins. And sometimes those pins get stuck. And halfway through a ride, um, it'll say I've lost power. Well, I can't because my bike's hardwired. But when I take the, Tom, when I take the Garmin off, I can see, I don't know what's happened mid-ride, but one of the springs has popped in and stuck so I have to take the TomTom -tom off or give it a knock during the ride and it'll power back up again. Uh, well, mind you, there's battery. I'll never lose power, but it, it, it cuts into the display saying you've lost power. Um, it's, not a big, it's not a big deal. Um, I'll still buy this over the Garmin any day. And I, I, sorry, I'll still buy this over the TomTom -tom any day. But, uh, and I'm a TomTom -tom man. I've had TomTom -tom since they first came out and I've never bought a Garmin. I've played with them. I didn't think much of them in the early days. That's why I've always stuck with TomTom. -tom. But this new Garmin Zumo XT is nice. Right, let's have a quick look and get back out on the road. Right, as you can see, it looks pretty swanky on top of the uh, display of the KTM. Absolutely beautiful. Let's power it up. Because I've hardwired it, you can check that hardwiring instruction guide on another vid that I've put up. Let's just power it up. Come on, it'll power up any time now. Okay, that always comes up. Okay, didn't take particularly long. It wasn't particularly fast. Okay, it's telling me how long it's going to take me to get up, get home from here. Uh, you can choose where you want to go. See how quick that was? You can either quick shortcut, go home, type an address, as you'd expect, tell smell a town or enter a postcode. Um, you can choose between this kind of style um, keyboard or the regular star keyboard. Let's go back. You can change country, choose your country. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, particularly in COVID. Um, categories, you can choose preset motor, popular motorcycle locations and I'm, all, all the rest of the stuff I'm not gonna go through. Um, it's not a full review, it's just me using it. Um, cancel, let's go back. Um, tracks, you can record your track, so if you want to go out for a ride uh, without planning it, 
and you get back home and you thought, oh, that was fantastic. If you press start, it records all the details of your journey. That's a really brilliant idea. Um, I believe the TomTom -tom does that, but I never used it, I don't think. But anyway, the screen wasn't as responsive as that. I mean, this is like a computer. It's like a smartphone. Press, mo press map. Okay. You can tell there I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this is what I mean. You can choose a bird's eye view or topography. Uh, let's just choose, you can change the, okay. So this is looking from above. Uh, okay, I don't know what that's done there. And this is putting it back into like a 3D mode. Uh, so let's go onto here. Okay, this is showing the topographical display. Let's just, you can pinch to zoom in and out. See, you can see all the contours of the contours of the valleys. So not just a two-dimensional map. Right, back out of there. Okay, that's the compass. You can choose all these options. Um, music. You can link it to your phone. Uh, apps. You can install, you know, loads of apps. You can even install, you know, weather and stuff like that. What's the weather radar? Okay, I haven't got a connect. I haven't connected my phone to it just yet. Um, anyway. As you can see, it's very responsive. Now, these are the these are the contacts that I said lose connection sometimes. It's very temperamental. It's only happened to me about five times in the complete time of owning it, and I've used it, you know, quite a bit now. Um, and the, these contacts here need to make contact with these two here. Now, I tend to find this pin. You can see spring, the spring loaded, but that pin tends to stick sometimes. I don't know whether it's because it goes in and then pushes down, and that, that, that movement sometimes makes it stick. But apart from that, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm well impressed. I think I paid about £430 for it, which is pretty much on par with the TomTom Tom Rider 550. You get all the stuff you can use in the car, you, allows you to use it in the car, etc. Um, as you'll find if you don't watch a proper professional review, not just me barking on about it. But um, yeah, I like it. I'd have this Garmin Zumo XT any day instead of the TomTom Tom Rider 550.